Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. We have a new homework video for you this week. Sitting here at Timmy J Stitches, and I have with me Megan, um, Stitching May from Floss Two. Okay, so we don't have a lot to go over this week. Um, we're in the middle of the month, so there's no monthlies. We've got the weekly for Magical Stitches, the weekly for Daily Thirty. Semi Sane does the same thing all month, so you've already heard it a dozen times. We're not going to go there. Um, Crystal Academy hasn't released their stuff to start yet. And neither one of us are in any of the other groups, right? Well, I mean, I'm in them. I just don't participate in them. <laughs> oh, um, do you do WhipGo? I forgot to ask that one. I do. do. Okay, so we'll also go over her WhipGo, as you've already heard mine 30 times now. All right, <laughs> so, uh, it and today is Friday, February 12th, but we will not be releasing the video until homework has released, so, you know. You, you get to see the past or we get to be in the future. I'm not quite sure how that works. Are we coming to them, just, are we coming to them from the future or are they coming to us from the past? All right. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Okay. So we're going to start out with magical stitches. Um, and I do not have it all written up yet because Harriet is still working on it. However, I do know that in the books, um, and I haven't gotten this far in the book, to be honest, but uh, my kids are taking it very slowly. Um, we're stuck in a hotel. For whatever reason, we can't get out of this hotel. That we're in like a loop. So for the prompt this week is a project that you're stuck on. And um, actually, I'm going to let Megan go first. What, 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 what are you thinking when it comes to getting stuck? So this is where I'm going to put you to work because I'm going to make you choose because I have three that I'm stuck on. The three that I'm stuck on <clears throat> are Daisy Vase. This is a design works kit that I absolutely love. Love this kit, but it's on Black Ada. And I was doing great until I sat down and tried to, in one night, do all the gritting and I haven't touched, touched it since. <laughs> wow. It's just lovely and pretty. It burnt me out. So, but I had to do the gritting because it's Black Ada. And it's not a full coverage like heaven and earth, but the stitching is all full. Like there are, it's, it's very heavy stitching. And then there is Vintage Birds, which was my birthday start for last year. And people started it with me for my birthday, my birthday style. <laughs> and I have very, very little done. It's the one that Ellen has thrown down the gauntlet for me and said, because she finished it like in the first month. It's not that big of a piece. Are you ready? I have one bird stitched. <laughs> oh my goodness. And what happened with this one is I had to frog this bird twice and then it kind of got put to the side and hasn't been touched. And then my other one is Cinnamon Stars, which was a start with Sarah King in Virtual. And it's another one that I, it would not count as a start in No New Starts. Let's just put it that way. Mm. <clears throat> oh my goodness. What That's is that? What I have. Where is it? I can't see it. <laughs> and I don't know which way it even goes. I'd have to figure out by the pattern which way it goes. So those are three that I've kind of stuck on that I just haven't touched. I love them all, but I just haven't touched them. And I've, I see my, oh, I want to stitch that. And I'm like, mm, no, no. So okay. which one do you think? You're stuck in the negative sense. Like you want to work on it, but you just can't make yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not that you're physically stuck somewhere, like you need the frog to get past it, or stuck on it like you just can't get away from it. You want us to try. Oh, I didn't back. think there are several ways of looking at stuck. I like yeah. That's why we do this homework video, because there is. There's different ways. I was thinking stuck. stuck, like I'm just kind of like, I, I can't yeah. get over the hurdle. Like I'm, I'm looking at the hurdle, and I'm like, I don't even run track, much less jump hurdles. So. <laughs> Right. Well, and, and sometimes you want to look at it that way because this is the exact thing that's going to help you get over that hurdle yeah. and start working on it again. But then like I have one like Anzac where I want to pick it up 
even when I like, I should be working on other things. I constantly want to go back to that same project. So some people get stuck in that way or, or like they need to frog because uh, Lady of the Flag, I have a section I need to frog and until I frog that, I don't have anywhere else to stitch. So there's so many different ways you could be stuck. The, the Lady of the Flag, that's where you count it over to get it a certain color and end up like a half a stitch or something off. No, well, yes, but I actually, I fixed all that. This is a new, <laughs> this is a new mistake. It's linen for me. Like every time I stitch on linen, I end up with some sort of something or other. So I think between the three, I think I like vintage birds the best. Vintage birds? Yeah. That's, that's and what that kind of goes it. into the kind of stuff where you, it's got a negative feeling to it. Like I, I had to frog that bird twice in order to be able, and knowing me when I look at it, it's probably still wrong. <laughs> Um, but there, oh, what was I going to say? The vintage birds it is. And how many stitches is it? It's a thousand stitches. Oh. So maybe that should be a deciding factor. Like, no, this will be cool. This will, this will be good. The other thing is though, and, um, we try and reiterate this all the time. No matter if you get 200 stitches on it, put your 200 stitches in at the end of the week because they're going to count. Every yeah. little bit counts. It's not like last year where you had to complete the prompt in order to get the money. Yeah, it's it's every little stitch counts. So, and then the stupid question, like if, when you do when you're stitching and like say the prompt's three hundred and you do three hundred and three, does the three hundred and three count or just the three hundred? Okay, so you know, every over. stitch counts this year. Um, yeah. We like to encourage people not to just like way over stitch on homework, like put those towards a cabin or a monthly or something like that. But you know, I can never stop right on 300 unless I'm doing a hay where I do it block by block. So I'm gonna put 383 stitches and that way, um, that 83 is gonna add up with whatever comes over here and here and here. And eventually that's gonna make enough stitches to get you something. I can't remember off the top of my head what all the, doodads are but there are doodads that you accrue plus it's it's um like a total stitch count based like we haven't revealed what the final stitch count needs to be but you're all competing to be the first one to hit that and so every little stitch counts so, um yeah so i went i went the more positive direction whereas um something that i'm stitching on that i just don't want to put down um, so maybe, no, well, this starts on Sunday, so it'll be next week's problem. I'm not quite sure what I'm actually going to stitch on, though. You sound like Scarlett O'Hare. That's tomorrow's problem. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say is sometimes when you, when you can narrow it down to, you've got three whips, you're like, it could be one of these three. That's when I would go to one of my other groups and be like, which one of those is also going to fit in something over here? And can I double dip it? So. Also, and vintage yeah. birds for, hey, it'll work for the first one in vintage, uh, in vintage in daily 30. All right. Well, before we get to that. Oh, show yours. <laughs> oh no, I'm not showing one. I was just going to say, uh, I don't know if you saw, but Daily 30 just had a pop-up. Literally started about an hour ago. Um, and it's just for the weekend. And we are stitching hearts for each other. Kind of like the candy hearts you give people on Valentine's. We're, we're stitching those for each other. So you go into the pop-up and you have to put some sob story or a story to make, you, to make people laugh or whatever so that they want to give you their little heart Valentine that they've earned. Um, I'm going to tell you a funny one because mine is 100% legit. And that is, I said, I need a Valentine because I didn't see the ice on my porch. It went flying to the ground. I was actually just talking to Megan. Like my hips, my back, my shoulder, they're all sore because I went flying off the porch. Um, and it's already earned me two hearts. So the other thing How is- How do you earn the hearts from stitching so many stitches? 100 stitches. So you put your start picture, your finished picture, once you've earned that 100 stitches, you go to any other post and give them a heart. You don't even have to like get somebody to give it to you first. You just 
you, you keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. I can say I had to get a shot today. What <laughs> shot did you get? My second COVID shot. Oh, you're all done now, huh? Dad asked me if I was growing my third arm yet. And I said, well, if I do, I can stitch faster. So, <laughs> Right? I could, I could totally use a third arm. All right. Let's see what the weekly is. I like the pop-ups. <laughs> I like um, having to interact with other people. The, the like giving them a heart or them giving you a heart. I really like that. But also that you don't have to pick uh like the project doesn't have to fit a certain theme yeah just i tend to sometimes um i've not been in a, as active in daily 30 this year only because what happened to me last year is i overcommitted and i mm -hmm. overwhelmed myself and then i ended up not stitching at all so right now my focus is it was magical stitches. Now I'm kind of sprinkling semi sane in it. And now I'm probably going to start sprinkling in daily 30. What I do really like about the daily 30 is the 30 minutes a day, because that can be whatever project. And that keeps me. Right. Busy. And since today is Friday, it's the first day of the week. So getting your, your five uh, daily projects in, now's the time to start. Um, I'm going to do my best to have my 30 minutes a day tonight. Um, and that's one thing I meant to discuss prior and sometimes I forget. I, I have all these good intentions, right? For me personally, in order to not get overwhelmed, I prioritize. I say, this is my number one group. This is my number two. This is my number three. And that does not mean I'm always going to do magical stitches first. It means I'm going to go to magical stitches and does this prompt make sense for me? Is it something that I can do? Yes. Great. If not, we're going to move down to cross stitches journal and daily 30. Like I, I prioritize my groups like that so that I, I don't feel bad when I only work on one or it's just too much to do all of them. Or instead of trying to make your whips work for the groups, you make the groups work for your whip. Yes. And I'm very rotation based this year. Whereas, you know, last year I would just pull out whatever whip it took to do the homework this year. I'm not doing that so much. Your so. rotation in face is me. <laughs> I sent you the meme that I made, right? With the <laughs> yeah, because it makes it it makes sense, but it makes absolutely no sense. Okay, y'all, I cannot cross my legs. Okay, um, <laughs> it makes it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Um, and it would make way more sense if I was stitching more. But even I'm having one of those years where I'm like, I don't I don't stitch every night anymore, so I have to kind of prioritize um what i'm working on so all right let's let's get into i'm gonna share the meme real quick is that okay if i share yeah. the meme? i sent this to sammy one night <laughs> <laughs> me trying to explain my rotation <laughs> so okay so this week we are keeping up appearances <clears throat> um I'm not really sure what that means. So I'm gonna have to read it. Okay. The bouquet residence, the lady of the house speaking, Hyacinth Bucket lives to impress. She has no patience for people who pretend to be superior because that makes it so much harder for those of us who really are. Oh my. <laughs> Assured of her own eminence, she spends her days trying to make sure everyone else is too. This week we'll visit Hyacinth and Richard in one of the funniest, funniest British sitcoms to ever air. Your challenge is to stitch on any piece or stitch on a piece to tie in to any or all of the problems. Okay. So number one, the surname Bucket is repeatedly pronounced by Hyacinth as bouquet. All of the sisters' names are flowers, Hyacinth, Daisy, Violet, and Rose. And so those names appear to be tongue-in-cheek reference to the bouquet of flowers. The main name of the ladies is Walton. Stitch on a whip with either a bucket or bouquet in the design. Well, this one seems pretty straightforward. Um, I guess really it would be like, how do you interpret bucket? Because could you use a vase and call it a bucket? I'm hoping so. <laughs> well, but if you have a vase, you probably have a bouquet. That's a bouquet. And it's got is, would that be considered a bouquet? It's more than one flower. It's more than one flower, yeah. So, Definitely. 
If not, then I could go back to <clears throat> daisies in the vase. But this is 400 <laughs> stitches, so this would be better than having to stitch 1,400. Right. <laughs> right. Double dip. Double dip. OK. Um, I'm trying to think. My January wordplay, all I have left for this week's bag is January wordplay and Epic Pokemon. That means I can pull out another bag, but I just haven't done that yet. I don't so know what I'm doing this duck on the Lady of the Flag, you said? Uh, no, I, I was probably going to do it on Anzac. Oh, that's right. Because you but went the positive way. Lady of the Flag does have a bouquet, and I could work on her next week. Because she has that bouquet of flowers. So that's a good one. Lady of the Flag. Okay. Number two, Hyson's China pattern, described as Royal Dalton with the handful hand painted periwinkles, is actually a pattern called Braganza, which is manufactured by the oh Lord. Cheryl, really? Can you like not give me such big words? <laughs> Cold clue? China Company, founded in 1890. The company was taken over by Royal Dalton in the early 1970s. The production of the Braganza pattern was discontinued in 1996. Put stitches into a piece with a dish, cup, cutlery, or something royal in the design. Like the flag has the crown? Yes. Crown. Yeah, staff. Anything that makes you think of royalty? A castle? It says, or dishes, cups, like teapots. Could that be a, or could that be a china vase? Um, Alice does have, because <clears throat> I was looking at her too earlier, and there's a teeny tiny little baby. Where am I? The bird's drinking out of a china cup. Yeah. A teacup. <clears throat> Teeny tiny. Cups, cups, cups. Um, I mean, if you happen to have a fork or a knife. <laughs> oh, wait. They're drinking out of wine glasses. Oh, there you go. So really into anything that is royal or has to do with China. China. Like cups, plates, stuff like that. say China. <laughs> okay, number three. The show was canceled after the fifth series solely by Patricia Routledge's high sense decision to move on and avoid risking being associated the one, with one role only. Can't read tonight. Once the key actress yeah, departed, the, creator, words too. <laughs> the creators felt the show would not be as funny and BBC decided to cancel it. Stitch on a whip with a key in the design. That one's a little more specific. Like, my house has keys. Nice. I'm not sure I have anything with keys right now. Does Dinah the Trick have keys? skeleton keys? What? I think we were talking, the Dinah's the Trick have keys. Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> Were we saying the same thing at the same time? <laughs> Jeez, I don't have mine in front of me to know. I don't know. I don't really have the pattern like accessible, but now see, are they specific? Because technically all of our patterns have keys. <laughs> I think they're a little more specific than that. I think it has to be in the I'm trying for you. What about, I don't know. I don't have any of my pictures, but um, I'm wondering if my mini game of the masquerade might have one too. I'm pretty sure it's wearing around. Your pictures, magical yeah. stitches. I don't know if I ever finished my magical stitches one. <laughs> you know, because admin are not held to the same. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I'm just lazy. There was a lot going on in December. Yes, she's wearing a key around her neck. Hold on, let me pull this up. Where's my show screen? 
See, she, she's got, and I was actually gonna work on her tonight for like full coverage Friday. She's got a key around her neck. Oh, she does. How cute. Okay. I'm not sure how else to interpret a key though. That one is pretty on spot. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the right to. Um, the actress who played Hyacinth Richard on Flow, Daisy and Elizabeth. You, people that are stitch, sorry, people that are stitching on the map, like even with a map, does a map have a key on it? Like the it, map key? I think in that case, that would work. I mean, not this, obviously, because I was being silly, but, yeah. you know. <clears throat> um, they all have birthdays in February. Stitch on a monthly piece that represents February or a piece with a heart in the design. But Alice has hearts. Yep. And then I also have, which this could technically probably be a finish if I really buckle down. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that one should be pretty close to done, huh? Oh, it's so, it's ridiculously close. <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason not to have this finished. Right. And there's another stuck project too because I haven't touched this since my coworker quit working with us. Okay. <clears throat> Number five. Richard and Hyson's son Sheridan is never seen in the series. He lives away from home and is studying needlework at a polytechnic college. Stitch on a whip where you can relate to a mystery in some way. Be sure and explain your choice. This one may take some storytelling, to be honest. Like, well, unless you've got a mystery sow, stitch along. Yeah, the obvious people. one. <clears throat> um, mystery. You could come back to your key one and say you wonder what the key goes it's to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I could use my cinnamon star and say it's a mystery which way, which way this fabric's supposed to go because there's so little stitched on it. But I was initially, when I first read the prompt, I was thinking of Crip Club, which is why I pulled this one out. Because you don't know, were they dead when they came there? Was there something in the cup that made them dead? Who done it? <laughs> was it the waiter? Clue. Huh? It's straight yeah. up blue. Yeah. yeah. Like, why, how did they end up either at this as skeletons or leaving this as skeletons? Right. <laughs> All right. Bonus prompt. Watch an episode of Keeping Up Appearances and show a whip of your choice along with the show on the screen in the beginning of the photo. So if you watch it, stitch on a whip, show. That one's pretty simple. And then, of course, you're 30 minutes a day for five days. Okay, and that is daily 30. Quick and easy. All right, uh, whip go. So for February, what numbers did we pull? Four and 20. What are your four and 20? My four and 20 are yellow submarine and autumn Quakers. There's my board, isn't it so fancy? <laughs> um. So I just went through all 60 of my whips and just random number generated and put them on. I would random number generate which spot they went into and then random number generate which project it was, which was all fun and games until I started getting the same number over and over again for the spot. Right. <laughs> um, but mine ended up being Yellow Submarine and Island Quakers, which I'm working on Yellow Submarine tonight for magical stitches for the flag because where is it my little fish is flying a flag <laughs> so so that's the one for whip go and then the other is autumn quakers ooh which i did not grab 
I did not grab on them clickers. Did you decide your goals? Oh, I just did 200 on them all. Just I was, and 200 is a lot for me. So I just went 200 even on all of them. Or if there's less than that, a finish, which I don't think any of them are close enough to be a finish. So I'm a horrible start and ditch. <laughs> and are you pushing to um, get them done within the month that they're drawn? So I initially was going to, and then in January I failed. I don't think I even touched either one of the whip go pieces. And I did, but not even close to the 200. Yes, dear, do you need something? I don't know where the Valentine is for Nana. Look in your book bag. Sorry. <laughs> he made a Valentine for my sister and he's wanting to know where it's at. Um, but anyway, um, I was gonna try to stick to it, did not. So now I'm gonna try to kind of catch up. Like my goal is of course to stitch on it in there, but then I don't wanna end up with six months trying to play catch up. I know for sure though, that I'm not counting it until it's called. So like if I work on vintage birds, which is one of mine on here, I believe. Yes, it is, but it's not been called. So even if I stitch the 200 stitches, I'm not going to count it because it's not been called yet. Right. Now, if it's been called, then it counts. But if it's before it's been called, it doesn't count. So you're pushing to try and do it within the month. But if you do it later in the year, you still get to count it. Yeah. Yeah. Because WIPCO is very much about everybody's own challenge to themselves. So the way I play is not necessarily the way you play is the way Jesse plays. You know, everybody does it a little bit differently. So that's why we try and touch on it every single time we do one of these videos. Okay, so, and the last thing is, um, how do you keep track of what you want to work on or the different groups or your planner, any of that sort of area? No, you didn't mess it up. Close the door. <laughs> That's it. Um, so I made my own planner. It is just on, um, graph paper i'm stealing so you know last year vic was talking and she called it instead of her happy planner it was her moderately jovial planner mm -hmm. but then this year after that year it was horrible so we were joking in virtual stitches one day and somebody told her she needed to call it her cautiously optimistic planner and that's what mine is it's my cautious cautiously optimistic planner but um so i pretty much just keep up with how many stitches i do i write down what i stitched on and then this is a very sad week so don't look at it but um and then how many stitches i stitched and then if i finish a project i put that in there and then if i don't and then i have the monthly because i'm obsessive and i continue i put again how many stitches how many stitch I, stitches i stitched that month what projects I worked on and how many days I did or didn't stitch on. And I'm trying to keep better track of it each week rather than like doing it all at one time because then it got all kind of daunting. Yeah. So, and then even though I'm not, because last year I tried to do the headmistress challenge where you stitch so many thousand stitches and mm -hmm. like it was pathetically far away. So I'm not officially doing the whole like yearly challenge with number of stitches things. But mm -hmm. I am in my Magical Stitches whip album, keeping up with each project, how many stitches I put on it that year, and then kind of keeping up with how many stitches I did overall, just for the fun of it. And some of them, because I'm horrible and I forgot to post, even though, it, because I'm still in the mindset of magic, of the Harry Potter and the, um, the other year, that they, um, that it's all or nothing. So I'm having to remember to, add the stitches even if I don't complete the task so all righty well that is it so I don't know how you keep up with yours you're still amazes me like completely I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not keeping up as well as I have in the past or doing as much as I used to do um so really a lot of it is um in my saved album like I'll go through, uh, I, when I create the post, I click save and then I'll kind of go through each of the posts and be like, can I fit anything here? Can I fit anything here? Like, whereas before I would try really hard. Okay. We, we're, we got to get this all done. So we're going to do it just like this. And now I don't, I'm like, I'm, I think I got 300 stitches in tonight. Let's, let's see where I can fit that. Um, but you know, 
things change, uh, life changes, and we just kind of got to go with it. Now you're doing a bag a month. You put all your whips in different bags. Mm -hmm. And then you're doing a bag a month or a bag a week? My first idea was to do a bag a week. Like every Sunday, draw a new bag. The problem was, is especially with my zombie run pieces, because they're not in bags, um, I wasn't going to be able to get through the entire bag in a week. So now it's, I just work on that bag until it's done. So I've touched all five of the whips in it. And then I'll pull a new bag. So I'm limiting my focus to my four zombie run pieces and whatever's in that bag until the bag is complete. And then I draw a new one, which I'm not going home tomorrow. I'm going to be sleeping here at the facility because of all the ice and snow and stuff. So um, just in case I get my stitching, I did go ahead and pull my next bag. It's out in the car. I just haven't looked at it yet. So, so don't all go in to get your stitching. No, no. I'm, I'm parked where the ice is not at. So we're going to be providing you a place to sleep. I'm going to be sleeping in my vehicle, but they provided me an extension cord and a heater. So, and actually just a second ago when I was distracted, it's because my coworker who's currently out sleeping in his car came in to get his phone charger. <laughs> He's like, what is this crazy person doing? Like, <laughs> he just looked at me like I was nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's it for us this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope y'all stick around. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and we will try our best to check them and answer them. So y'all have a great week. Bye.